we're at the, the Bill Roston Native Butterfly House, which is located in what we've come to call the parks, plural, because we're in Close Memorial Park, which is very close to Nathaniel Green Park, immediately adjacent, and also the Botanical Center uh, is a structure now that we have. This is our second year with the Botanical Center. And the park is open from dawn to dusk. The Butterfly House is generally open from five to dusk on weekdays and from 10 to dusk on weekends, maybe closing at 6, a little early on Sunday. Our, our goal is to provide an opportunity for kids of all ages to experience butterflies and moths, native butterflies and moths, and see all stages of their, of their life cycle. Uh, butterflies and moths are one of the, the more compelling kinds of animals, and they've got special educational value because you can show the whole life cycle in a fairly small area like this from the time the egg is laid on up to the time that the adult ages and dies. But uh, they're an important part of the ecology. Butterflies and moths, are, of course, are important pollinators, so they allow flowering plants to make fruits and seeds and reproduce themselves. And the caterpillars feed on green plants, and in doing that, they help to control what would otherwise be an explosion of vegetation that would just take over the world. So by cropping the plants back, they maintain a balance and a diversity that would otherwise be missing. The caterpillars and butterflies in turn are food for other animals, uh, birds, other insects like wasps, spiders, amphibians and reptiles. In some parts of the world, even people eat caterpillars. But here we're interested uh, in them aesthetically as well as ecologically. And we can come and go freely from the Butterfly House here and keep it free, no charge for admission, because we work only with natives. So our, our physical infrastructure here is pretty simple. It's just a net house. And if a few escape when we open the doors, it doesn't matter because they're all native species, mostly things that we've gotten the broodstock from right next door in the gardens around us. We bring them in here and provide them with food and nectar, and uh, they do their thing. We also Late in the year, we'll put away a bunch of chrysalids and, and so that we'll have something to start things out early in the spring. Also, for the Butterfly Festival, we like to have large numbers of the, the big native silk moths like the Luna and Polyphemus. So we'll be starting the rearing of those uh, this week. We've had eggs, uh, we've got young larvae, and we'll actually be hanging those from bags on the trees because they eat so much that we can't just keep up with them otherwise. Well, I got started with the Butterfly House from Dr. Barnhart. I knew him from Missouri State, and I've been interested in insects since I was a little kid. Um, and it's nice to be able to, to talk to people about um, the butterflies and the life cycle about it, because a lot of people are afraid of insects and would rather just squash them than to appreciate their beauty. So it's, it's aesthetically pleasing in here because there's so many different varieties of butterflies that we do have that are native, and it's beautiful, honestly. And so I'm excited that I get to share the little knowledge that I know with people about, about what it's all about with, with the butterflies. Um, I started work volunteering here because I'd taken a, or I'd taken a college class in the summer and uh, they offered a service learning credit hours through the school. And uh, this is where I ended up volunteering at. And I did a lot of work next door in, in the, the host plant garden that we did that Dr. Austin designed. So for that, that summer I helped with that and then I also did some docent work and volunteering in the house. Um, just met so many neat people and learned so much stuff and just had so much fun working with the people coming through and the kids and the parents and just and seeing how much fun it was working with, you know, not just people who were involved with, you know, with the school but also, you know, master gardeners and people at the botanical center and just all types of people that I ended up just, uh, just continuing volunteering and now I just do docent work through, through the house.